of faces on them down there when I walk in with this. You gotta admit it, Alice. You gotta admit it. When the chips are down, I'm ready to go. The wheels are turning up here at all times. Well, what do you think? I think you're nuts. For me, I, I, I thought we were being invaded. <laughs> invaded? Did you hear that, Alice? It didn't take him long to find out that I'm the man from space. Space? Who said anything about space? I thought we were being invaded by Sherman tanks. <laughs> Sherman Tanks or the Man from Space, as Norton would say, uh, I like to say it is the Man from Space, and we certainly know it is Jackie Gleason as Ralph Cramden, and this is Will, and this is Sci-Fi Guy, and we're going to be talking about one of the first DIY, yeah, do-it-yourself costume maker Ralph Cramden on The Honeymooners in the episode The Man from Space. Now, this is just one of my favorite episodes. Um, the you know the, the show, of course, The Honeymooners is just one of my favorite all time TV shows, and this one is for so many reasons. It blends science fiction and costume making and French history with Norton's love of the man who we would later learn actually condemned the Paris sewers, but he f thought at first that he designed and built them. Delana Brzezowski, or whatever his name is. But I think, you know, I've seen it so many times, and in preparing for the uh, for the podcast here, I watched it once again, and Ralph really comes across as one of the kind of first, you know, do-it-yourselfers, DIY, which is all over YouTube, which is all over the net, which is just, you know, when you go to a Lowe's, when you go to a Home Depot, it's all about do-it-yourself. Yes, one of the first uh, do-it-yourselfers, and for this episode, if uh, you guys are not familiar, Ralph has the grand genius idea of winning the uh, Raccoon Lodge's costume contest. So he wants to rent a costume for only $10, then if he wins the first prize, that's 50 so he'll make a profit of $40, and he tries to corral Norton, Norton is going in with him, but Norton has already rented a costume of his hero, Delabriaski, the Frenchman who designed the Paris, the Paris sewers, but then later on he discovers he condemned them. But again, what was really, to me, um, fun and just so kind of like today is everyone sort of does, you know, the DIY, the do-it-yourself today, but... Back then, I guess, well, in some ways, they probably did it more because they had less, uh, you know, malls and shopping and online Amazon. But I'm saying in terms of just going around the house and, uh, you know, sort of uh, exploiting what you've got on hand. And that's what Ralph does. He takes everything, much to Alice's chagrin, much to his wife's horror. <laughs> he he takes, he rips the um, the freezer door. Well, it's kind of like a little ice box back then. Uh, they had one from, uh, you know, looked like from the 20s or 30s. The, the series is filmed in the 50s. It was just from 1955, this episode. And so he literally rips the uh, the little ice box door to, to be his plate, his like first costume, his, uh, you know, his man from space uh, gear. And, and Alice is like, but all the food's going to go bad. He's like, oh, that's okay. Get Norton to eat it. <laughs> Come down the and he'll eat it. And so the big final, you know, costume contest comes. And instead of uh, the judges thinking that man, the, uh, that Ralph is the man from space, as Alice warned him, they would never, ever realize, <laughs> guess what you are. And they think he's a pinball machine. <laughs> Ralph Cramden for his <laughs> impersonation of a pinball machine. And, of course, uh, Norton 
couldn't make it because he had to work in the sewer, but he comes right in time. And that's all I'll say. <laughs> you gotta watch. Even though everyone's probably watched them all. But I, I just have a real strict rule about spoilers. Watch the episode. See the man from space. What's really great is in, I'd say, most every honeymoon, or certainly the great majority, there's a lot of improv, spontaneous improvisation. There's a scene that when, when Ralph shows his costume to Alice, he's like, you know, look at this, and he's showing off, and she's, and one of the, um, one of the little uh, knobs that he, that he took from all the furniture around the house, one of the knobs falls off. And so Alice, you know, she picks it up and says, oh, you're losing it already. And he looks and without a beat, Jackie Gleason was so good at improv, so good at spontaneous dialogue. He goes, that's my denaturizer. You know, and it's one of the biggest laughs and, you know, wasn't in the script. So um, that's another great thing about the honeymooners. Whereas I've heard with I Love Lucy, you know, Lucille Ball was a great performer, but she was a real stickler at rehearsing and sticking to the script. Jackie Gleason, the exact opposite. Like they would rehearse and, you know, everyone knew their lines, but he was a much more of a believer and supporter of improvisation, of spontaneous moments. And it shows, you know, almost every episode, you, you're going to see a lot of improv. So take a look, search it out. Um, what's really interesting about The Honeymoon is I have to look this up. I had believed for years, I still do, I haven't, you know, confirmed it that Jackie Gleason Enterprises is his estate and CBS owns the rights to the classic uh, episodes. And yet on YouTube, you can literally find dozens of channels that have full episodes, which is great, certainly is, but it's confusing in terms of rights and, you know, who exactly owns these, uh, these classic, you know, honeymooners. So, but you can watch it on, uh, you know, on YouTube, just, you know, put a man from space, it'll come right up and, Enjoy. Hope you're enjoying Sci-Fi Guy. Subscribe if you have not. We appreciate it. And we're going to do a lot more. I, I, I know there's a lot more Honeymooners to mine because even though it's a straight, in many ways, comedy, there's a lot of weird and cool stuff about the Honeymooners. So we'll see you soon.